people of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please all be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, to the Lord, a blessed morning to everyone. Sabihin po natin sa ating katabi, bawat morning is a blessing. Pero bawat gising is a great blessing. Palakpan po natin ang Panginoon. My dear brothers and sisters, we are now on our fourth Sunday. Today is the fourth Sunday of Advent and this is also our fourth day of our Misa de Gallio. And we have been guided by our general team that stewardship is a way of the church, a way of being a church. And our theme of this fourth day of our Misa de Gallio it speaks about stewardship is a joyful management of God's favor. Para sinasabi po, okay, blessed are those who are cheerful giver. Okay. Pinagpala ng Diyos ang mga taong natutuwang nagbabahagi at tumutulong. So, there is what we call adjective cheerful giver. So, dahil meron doon mga tumutulong na hindi masaya. Amen? Mayroong mga tumutulong na nakasimangot. But our team is blessed are those who are cheerful giver. The heart of a Christian steward is gratitude. Lagi po natin napapakinggan sa mga no, uh, the past few days that stewardship is about gratitude, generosity, accountability. If I may ask to you, kailan ka ba nagpasalamat sa Diyos? Seriously. Bakit ka nagpapasalamat sa Diyos? Paano ka ba nagpapasalamat sa Diyos? A good steward receive God's gift gratefully. Cherishes and tends the gift responsibly. Pinapahalagahan niya ang biyaya at inaalagahan niya ang biyaya. Nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng bagay. No? Kayo po ba nagpapasalamat kayo sa lahat ng bagay? Amen? Oh, hindi malakas. No? Kadalasan, kapag kulang po yung biyaya, hindi tayo nagpapasalamat. Amen? O mas malakas. Okay? Kundi nagre-reklamo po tayo. Na, Tag-ibasitin tayo nga eh. Agday-dayamudong tayo pa eh. Malabit ko na in tayo. Nangitid na pa eh. Kinisayan da siguro. Di da pa imit. Piman. Kuna tayo. Di da lamat. Kuna tayo. Di da matlaki din ang itidin. Ti sobra-sobra. A grateful heart silenced a complaining voice. A grateful heart silenced a complaining voice. And a cheerful giver silenced a complaining voice. Let us now focus to our rep, uh, team on this day. Bless are those who are cheerful giver. And this is what we call a steward. Remembering that he doesn't own anything. Maganda po na lagi po natin iisipin na kahit po sasabihin natin, this is mine. I work for this. But a stewardship mentality is that what I manage is a steward manages to what belongs to someone else. Kukana apo Diyos. Kukwati apo. 
Gapuan ng tapat patsyan tayo. Amin nga dakada tayo. Naggapu iti Diyos. Lahat binigay ng Diyos magbabalik sa Diyos. And this is also we are being led to this kind of mentality and disposition. It's true, no? Let us be cheerfully giving to what we have received from God. At that story, po, titalo, may isang apadi, may isang ministro, kin may isang pastor. Kahit konana ji padi, katoliko, kahit pagtutungtungan da, numanot itidaki na po Diyos. Kahit manumot timabati itisimbaan, Kahit ko na dakit jipadi, tarami dakit, nagugi dakit circle. Tapos umadayo akti 10 meters. Ipuruwak ko, noon niya timakadanon di circle, bagay na po Diyos. Siyempre nagadayo. Kahit ko na namot jay Lutheran pastor, a Baptist minister, Kung nanakit, tas tamot at araminik. Ngayon na udi, di Lutheran pastor, kung na, you are doing it all wrong. Okay. What I do is that, ipuruwak ko di collection, I, I throw all the collection up into the air. Nada masipaw na po Diyos bagay na. Of course, no, mas wais si Lutheran pastor. My dear brothers and sisters, I think, let us reflect on this invitation for all of us. How it is to be cheerfully giving of what God has given to us. Okay. And we see in here that Paul in the second letter to the Corinthians, he was saying to us when he said, each of you must give as you have decided in your heart, not reluctantly, hindi ka nagdududa kapag ikay nagbibigay, or under compulsion, hindi ka napipilitan. For the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Kundi, nagbibigay ka dahil nagagalak ka at natutuwa ka. Nagbibigay dahil nagpapasalamat at nagmamahal sa pag-ibig ng Diyos. Ang masayang nagbibigay ay daan ng pagpapakabanal. The cheerful giver is the one who is wholly, wholly obligated. Then, gusto mo ba na sa iyong pagiging generous, masayang nagbibigay? If you want to be wholly obligated, ito'y pagpapakabanal. If you want to be a cheerful giver, then, there are three things that we have to keep in mind. Ito po, tatlo pong bagay. Lagi po natin iisipin. Ang taong masayang nagbibigay, of course, no, it's given. A cheerful giver gives out of joy. Okay. Nagbibigay siya dahil siya ay natutuwa. Dahil nagpapasalamat. Siya ay nakikibahagi. Second, a cheerful giver is someone who gives without expecting anything in return. Totoo po, ano? Bakit tayo kadalasan malungkot kapag tayo nagbibigay? Dahil tayo po'y naghihintay ng kapalit. And you know, my dear brothers and sisters, sometimes 
this is a, take, a great challenge and invitation for all of us. It feels good when we give not looking back. And this is what we call the anonymous donor or anonymous giver. Okay. It says, do so without knowing to whom one gives and without the recipient knowing from whom he received. Then the righteous gave in secret and the poor profited in secret. Totoo po, no? Minsan, kapag po tayo po yung nagbibigay, it loses its meaning when we try also to ask in return kung anong kapalit yung binibigay po natin. Have you tried to give without expecting something in return? Iba po yung pakiramdam. But I tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, when you help someone without expecting something in return, you don't even know that this person that you have helped, yung taong tinulungan mo, hindi mo alam na siya'y tutulong din. Dahil naramdaman niya kung ano ang pakiramdam ng kawalan at nangangailangan. And there's a joy in our heart. Sometimes, sasabihin po natin, tulungan ka, ngayon wag kasapulan na, tuma ka, tulungan na ka. Nagidig ka kamsat kasi yun naman minsan. Wain ako na tayo, tumulong tayo, nagbasip mo legitid tayo, nagadupit yung bagbaga tayo. But you know, my dear brothers and sisters, when we help, and we don't think of something in return, there's actually a joy in our heart. Amen? Alam mo na yung taong tinulungan mo, tutulong din yan sa kanyang kapwa-tao. There is a pay it forward. They pay back. Hindi po sa atin. Minsan yung po yung talagang nakakadurog. I think, Parents, you know that. Pinagadal mo na anak mo. Kunam ko, pagadalin ka, tatno, tumulong ka, tikikamsat mo. Tulungan na kang tumot, ah. Pero hindi naman po nangyayari yun. Dahil alam po natin, may sariling buhay ang ating mga anak. At alam natin, pagkatapos ng pag-aaral, pagtratrabaho. Minsan, mga iba, nag agad. Pero the consolation is that a joyful giver, a cheerful giver is that we did our obligation and we know na kahit pa paano, hindi nila pababayaan ang kanilang pamilya. And again, when we help someone, we don't have to ask them to pay it back of our help but we know they will be paying back to other people in so other and many ways. Thirdly, my dear brothers and sisters, a cheerful giver is what we call gives more than which is expected. Yung bang magbibigay tayo, hindi po natin to no? We don't measure, but we give more than. And it feels good. There is a joy in our heart when we give more than is expected. And we see in here, my dear brothers and sisters, if we have to look at the stewardship, no? Ikapu, it's only 10% that our Lord Jesus Christ is asking from us. 10% of all the blessings that we receive. But the cheerful giver, he never counts. He will never even ask, sasabihin niya, 10% na ibibigay ko. 
But a cheerful giver, when he gives because he's very happy, he's very thankful, nagpapasalamat sa Diyos, he gives more than what is expected. Which means, in the Old Testament, yes, giving 10% is something recommended in the Bible, in the Old Testament. But in the New Testament, our Lord Jesus Christ is saying, Give your 100%. Di ko po sinasabi, bigay niyo po lahat. Ano? Pero sinasabi po ng ating Panginoong Yesus, when you give, you are remembering that all you have, everything is a gift from God. To use wisely, to serve Him, not ourselves. My dear brothers and sisters, perhaps we might be saying in this time of season, of Christmas, where we see the joy of giving and sharing. And giving is the best proof of loving. We are truly loving when we cannot give. We are truly loving when we give and share. Ang tunay na nagmamahal ay nagbibigay. The proof of loving is giving. It is only in giving that we receive. Amen? Kasi kadalasan ayaw po nating magbigay, tumatanggap lang po tayo. It's only in giving that we receive. Kung tumatanggap ka ng biyaya, matuto ka rin magbahagi at magbigay. Amen? Huwag po tayong matakot mawalan. Dahil kapag may nawawala, may bumabalik. Amen? Kaya huwag po tayong matakot kapag may nawawala, siguradong may bumabalik. At pag bumabalik, siksik, liglig, at umaapaw. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be a joyful giver when we give out of our joy and love for God. When we give not expecting something in return, and when we give what is beyond expected, from us. Amen.